right. Another unboxing. That's what I'm talking about. people to check it out, join up, and uh, we'll get going on this. So as you can see, There we go. A little bit better. So we got a case of these um, Skybound Minis that were designed by Scott Tolleson. And, uh, you know, let's open them, right? We actually picked these up at San Diego Comic Con thanks to Sean over at Skybound. Um, it's a full series. I'm not 100% sure on when the other minis were released. I think probably the past two years, maybe three years, Scott had designed some uh, minis for Skybound that released as blanks. And uh, this entire series is full color. And one of the cool things about it, it's a, um, it's like a collaboration series. I guess that's what you could call it because it includes figures, characters from all of um, Kirkman's properties. So you got Walking Dead, Outcast, Invincible, Science Dog, Horizon. Manifest Destiny and Birthright. Um, I'm only familiar with these three. So you comic book people out there probably are a little bit more familiar with um, all the properties. But um, so let's check out the case. Really cool. It's got the um, comic book in the, the background. Little um, scenes. We have the uh, ratios, right? And what's in the series. So we got Rick, Invincible, Negan, Andrea, Kyle, Sacagawea. Robot, Mikey, what is this? Zia, Conquest, Zombie Punk, Science Dog, Blue Suit Invincible, Evil Robot, and as you can see, there's obviously a Chase Rick, and what is that? A Chase Negan, maybe? Just by the outline? Yeah, but these are... If you look at the link over here, the description of the video you're watching, um, there's a link to the store where you can pick these up. They're 10 bucks a blind box. Uh, so that's the side, just the logo. There's uh, the ratios and figures on the back. The other side, the logo. And then the back has some pretty cool art. And one of the really cool things that Skybound does that I've noticed 
is they uh, they give shout outs to the artist. So they got Scott on there with his um, website. It's pretty rad. Cool. Well, let's crack open. Let's see what these look like. So we'll do it like this. Give me a little bit more room to, to work here. from this uh, here. And start opening them up. They look pretty good. My, my trusty, not very sharp knife didn't really do too much with it. Okay. You know what? Let's look at this. This is kind of cool too. It actually has the um, figures on the side, the ratios, closer look at the artwork. There you go. He's a 2 out of 20. Look at the detail on that. The, uh, that's really nice. I think. If I'm not mistaken, the majority of the bodies, if not all, are this shape. But all the figures have a unique head sculpt, which is nice. The, uh, the eyes on Invincible are gloss. Everything else is matte. Um... QC is really nice on it. Really tight paint lines. Articulation in the arms. And the head. The hair is really nice. Man, I wish I had his hair. Alright. Moving on. Down. I don't think my knife is going to cut these boxes. Like glue is just gnarly on them. Maybe I'll go from the bottom. Nope. Man, they do not want people peeking in. Next. Well, would you look at that? A dupe. And that's basically what each case is going to have. 2 out of 20 is the ratio. All right, next. <laughs> Has ripped the entire top of that box off. Oh well. I'm not one for saving boxes. Looks like we pulled a Rick. Oh, I think this is the chase because he's bloody, bloody Rick. This is cowboy hat that is also bloody. Now, 
just so you guys know, the majority, if not all of the product that Skybound releases, it's based off of the comic book, not, in this case, the TV series. So, a lot of the designs you're going to see from The Walking Dead are, you know, based off the original illustrations that you would see in the comic book. So this Rick might look a little bit different than what you would see in the show. So that's cool. Rick Grimes. I wish he had a revolver. That would have been cool. Nice little accessory. You know, and if we pull Negan, it would be nice if he had Lucille. We will see. So that was a chase figure, it doesn't have a ratio. It's a bloody Rick, which is cool. And it looks like this is Conquest. I'm not familiar with him as a character, but I do know that he is from Invincible. The um, the paint and QC on these is insanely tight. Like these are really really great quality minis. I don't know if you guys can see it in the video at all, but they look really really nice. Also, the bottom of the feet, you guys see that, it has uh, Scott's logo and the Skybound logo, pretty rad. So yeah, dude, Conquest, looking good. I dig the head sculpt, really, really clean. Next. I was hoping I was going to pull one of these. So this is Robot. My head's a little stuck. There we go. Cool. So he's 2 out of 20. And Robot comes from the Invincible series as well. I didn't mention... Um, Conquest is 1 out of 20. So in every case you're going to get 1. In every case you're probably going to pull 2 of the robots. So we will see what happens. Um, once again, the paint, the sculpt, like to get... Uh, paint that goes completely around the figure without any imperfections um, is a feat. It's tough to print on a 3D surface like that. And uh, whoever they're using for their factory, uh, they're doing a really good job. These are great.
is Kyle. Kyle Burns. He's from Outcast. AKA the average Joe looking dude. He actually looks like David Blaine, right? <laughs> I'm just noticing that right now. <laughs> Sweet dude, I got a magician. A street magi magician. He's got his nice hoodie. QC is on point. Nice hair. Yeah, these are these are quality minis. I don't know how many times I need to say that, but I um, really dig it. Let's get up in there. What's next? Rick Grimes before he got into a tussle with some walkers. He is a 1 out of 20 ratio. So in each case, you're going to get one. Cowboy. So, just so you guys can see, get the uh, bloody Rick and the plain Rick in the same frame. If I can hold their hats on. So there we go. There's bloody Rick and plain Rick. Cool. Next. Hope you're all having a good Friday night or wherever you are. Saturday morning. Friday night for me. So I typically do my unboxings around this time because I'm busy doing other stuff <laughs> up until now. Put my daughter to bed and whatnot. All right, so here we have a zombie punk from The Walking Dead. And he comes with a sick little guitar. Look at this thing. I'm not familiar with the Walking Dead comic. I do watch the show though show though love the show um but i guess the uh the punk zombie zombie punk is part of that um he's kind of a standout character in in the, the novels so he holds a guitar however maybe like this i'm not sure I guess I can put it however I want, kind of like that, while it's in his arm. Fun paint, fun little figure. Scott did an excellent job designing these. Check him out. Yeah, Wolf, it, this is really cool. Alright, next. Two rows down, three rows to go. Man, these are tough to open. I 
of bad mangling the box. But once again, I don't save them, so I don't know why they're bad. Alright, there's a dupe. We said that we were going to get two out of, of those. And there he is. Next. What's up, Jason? And there's another dupe. Kyle from um, Outcast. Thank you. What's up, Matt? You're up late because you're probably feeding your newborn, huh? Congrats, by the way. That's awesome. Next. So far, so good on this case. I'm getting some good chases. This is a uh, blue suit invincible, and he is an unknown ratio. So I got the bloody Rick, and now the blue suit invincible. Pretty rad. I think the only one I'm missing now, I think. The other chase is probably either a Negan or a bloody Kyle from Outcast. But the blue suit, Invincible, is pretty fresh. Here he is, so you guys can see the side by side. Dig him. Like I said, I'm not sure on the ratio of, of that one because it's a chase. And it's just question marks on the box. See? Question marks. Yeah, Jason, those uh, arcane divination dunnies. Whew. They are really nice. Alright, this looks like someone I am not familiar with, but somebody else who is blue. So this is Zahia. I hope I'm saying that right. Z H I A. Obviously a female character. She also has an unknown ratio. So I'm guessing she's a chase as well. Um, a lot of unknowns here. I do know that she is from the property Horizon which I am not familiar with. But, pretty cool. She's got like lightning going down. Electricity or lightning going down. And her hair is tied back in a nice point. Um, cool. Moving on. Two more rows to go. Case. 
I just pulled another chase. Oh, no, I didn't. This is the variant for evil, for a robot. This is the evil robot. Who is not a chase, but is a variant. Um, he's one out of 20. You can see. Completely different head sculpt. I kind of like this one. The one I just pulled better. I dig the, the head sculpt on that. Evil Robot and Robot are from Invincible. She rightfully belongs. All right. Boom. So there you have it. What's up, Jay? So he's wearing his nice leather jacket pants right on and Lucille would have been nice if Lucille was bloody but there might be a variant who knows pretty rad though so there we go there's uh, me and one out of 20 so basically, if you get a case, you are guaranteed that. It seems like a lot of these ratios are attainable, which is nice. Either that, or I'm just getting really lucky. Let's have to open. Let me put it past me. I thought my luck ran out when um, I opened that arcane divination case and got them all. So here is uh, Sacagawea, and she is from Manifest Destiny, which sounds like a really cool property. I don't know how many of you guys actually read those kind of unknowns when it comes to comics, but she comes with a spear. There she is right there. So she's got her hair and pigtails. I have not seen a flaw on these. <laughs> the, the QC is, is so on point. And the amount of detail on each one of these little figures is crazy. I don't even think they're three inches tall. Let me get my three inch dummy. Are they three inches? No, they're even smaller than three inches, guys. They're like uh, two and three quarters. So the amount of detail they're jam and packed on these is really, really crazy. So there's Sacagawea. She is a one out of 20. Which one do I need? I need Science Dog. I need Andrea. I am 
a tough time opening these. And I need Mikey. And that's all. Oh. And I will have the, well, and whatever the chase is. And it looks like I just pulled Mikey. Mikey is also from, um, oh, he's from Birthright. He looks like some type of a uh, barbarian. Because he comes with a big old broadsword. He's got some hair on him. His head, his head barely turns. The the hair, the sculpted hair goes all the way down to his arms. Really cool. the pad printing on the, the armor, the arms, just really clean. You know what I did hear actually from Sean, I heard that there's some gold variants as well that are like extremely rare and I don't even think they've printed them on the uh, the box at all. It's like one of those things if you end up getting it, you are stoked. So there is another Sahia. So that's two in that case. And she's one of those question mark figures, so. more to open after this one. I need Science Dog and Andrea. Oh, there's Science Dog. Science Dog is from Invincible. Dude, he's rad. I like his uh, head sculpt. I need to check out um, Invincible. It seems like they have some some fun characters. So he's got like a little jetpack, maybe. Fun stuff. Yeah, this is fresh. Dig dig the head sculpt on that guy. All right, two more to go. Am I gonna pull Andrea? Oh, wow, another blue suit invincible. Who's also a chase. That's uh, yeah. I'm trying to figure out the ratios in the case. Pretty pretty good to me. Last one. Thanks for watching, guys. Sticking around. And what do you know, Andrea? 
So it looks like I pulled every single one except for that one, which is a one out of 40. Um, whoa. She comes with a rifle and a pistol. Maybe I'll give her pistol to Rick. She doesn't need two guns, right? So, uh, talking with Scott, since I'm not familiar with the comic, um, I guess Andrea plays a lot more like of a pivotal role in the comic. I mean, she was, what, in the first three seasons of the TV show, but um, I'm not sure if she's still alive. Spoiler alert for you guys who aren't caught up with the show, but yeah, she dies. <laughs> so she has a pistol and a rifle, sniper rifle. She says pew 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 a lot. She's nice and bloodied up. So there you go. Hold the entire entire series with a few dupes. Uh, Jay, you're asking what the theme of the series is. Um, the theme is popular properties from Skybound Entertainment. So it's, you know, The Walking Dead, Outcast, Invincible, Science Dog, Horizon, Manifest Destiny, and Birthright. So basically, the writer, um, Kirkman, he, uh, I guess they went through and picked just really standout characters from all those properties, and that's what they ended up doing. So, I know what they did, Outcast, the TV show, and Walking Dead, obviously. I th think Invincible might be in the works as a TV show, which would pique my interest because like I said I like the characters that I'm seeing in this so yeah amazing work Scott the most versatile artist in the designer toy scene right now like who gets to design an entire series based on these comics and do an entire Dunny series and do standalone figures and this and that and everything is really unique and fresh so did you uh, killed it dude and once again the quality on these bravo to Skybound and the people they are using to produce these like really really good stuff big shout out to Sean over at Skybound for the case um, you've always been good to me dude I really appreciate it and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching until next time we'll, uh, we'll do this again soon have some more stuff that we can open up and check out live so I can talk to you. Cool? Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening.